you went down in the second half of the TCU game and I feel like I knew exactly where I was when I was watching that play just because I was devastated for you. Whenever you went down, did you know immediately it was your ACL or did you think you was going to be able to walk it off? Like, how did that feel? So, boom, when it first happened, it was like a sharp pain. So I'm thinking like I kind of just hyperextended my knee because I've done that before. It didn't feel like anything was loose, none of that. Mm -hmm. So I just immediately I just crawled off the field because, you know, Choice tell us all the time, don't ever don't lay on the field unless you got a bone sticking out. And then that's kind of <laughs> like, it's funny to say, but you know what oh, I'm man. saying? Like kind of choice don't play, man. Right, uh -huh. right. Kind of having that toughness in, in, your, in your heart though. But no, I just crawled off the field um, and then the trainers came over there and they didn't say nothing at first. And then they tried to take me to the tent and I tried to put pressure on it. And you know, like when you hyperextend your knee, it wants to just go back, like it has no like support. Mm -hmm. So that's what I thought it was. I told him I should be fine. And then uh, they had took me to the back room because he said it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like this other one. So I'm kind of through my head. I'm like, like, dang, like I talked about it with my family, my coaches, like this was my year to to do what I had to do and get up out of here. Mm -hmm. So then everything's going through my mind. Is it torn? Is it my ACL? Is it did I blow out my whole knee? How bad is it? Is it torn? Uh, just literally just everything going through my mind. Just lost. Um, went to the back room and then they just got me. In a brace, and then they said I have an MRI the next day. And whenever you got your MRI, and they gave you the bad news that your ACL was completely torn, where were you at mentally at that point? Mentally, I was—I ain't gonna say I wasn't in a good place, but I was probably the lowest I've been in a while, uh, just because I've never had a major injury like that in mm -hmm. sports. So, um, just knowing that I did it, and then. I, in my mind, I thought everything in front of me was just over. Like I thought, my, like it sounds dramatic, but like mm -hmm. in the moment, I'm like, dang, my career's over. Like in my mind, I'm thinking, what if I don't come back the same? What if it doesn't heal right? Mm -hmm. Like what if, you know what I'm saying? Just every possibility was going through my head. And then it took me a couple of days, but I talked to God and it, he just helped me get through everything. Literally, I'm not even being dramatic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he got me through it. Uh, and I just became more faithful throughout this whole process, too. Mm -hmm. What were your teammates like when you went down? Obviously, I know it's a family atmosphere, so they're supporting you. But I guess I'm asking, how grateful were you for them like to have people to lean on in a situation like that? Oh, it was great. Um, you know what I'm saying? They made it a lot better. But another thing that I don't, I'm not going to say I never really spoke about, but like whenever they would ask me the results and I told them I tore my, tore my, tore my ACL, <laughs> uh, like just kind of seeing the the sadness on their face, like the devastation. Like mm -hmm. when I told them, they're like, dang. Like you can see, I felt like inside of me, a part inside of me just being so competitive, felt like I let my teammates down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I was the best player out there, but just seeing their face whenever I told them, it felt like I let my teammates down. But I also knew that they loved me for the person that I am. They didn't just like me for being the player on the field. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I felt like the bond that we made, I made with the team, over this last three years, you know what I'm saying? We went from five and seven to last year, eight and four, to mm -hmm. then this year. I mean, just the bond that I made with my teammates, I became close with them. So it was a lot easier to lean on them and to be more, I'm not going to say emotional, but be more myself around them about my injury. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed is in football, whenever guys go down and they're done for the season, you can tell the mark of a good teammate because – as the season goes on, those players are going to represent the guy that went down. And every time CJ scored, Keelan scored, they was always throwing up the 2 foe. It just, and that, that made me happy, just representing the journey that you'd have been on. Mm -hmm. So uh, what did that mean to you, knowing that your teammates were holding it down for you and kind of showing love and representing for you out there? Oh, that meant a lot. And you know what I'm saying? Like, just like I said, that goes back to, the bond we made in the running back room. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell them to do that. They didn't tell me they were going to do that. Mm -hmm. They just did it. So then just knowing that they do that for me uh, when I'm hurt and can't play no more just shows the, the love that we have in the team. Like it's a bond that is going to last a lifetime. Like we still text every day. I still play the game with them. We text every day. Uh, we joke all the time. You know what I'm saying? So just seeing that they would do that for me, it really meant a lot. Mm -hmm. Whenever the Chiefs won the Super Bowl in 2020, I had actually torn my pec 
a couple of weeks before the playoffs had started. So I had to miss the whole playoff run. And I remember the emotions that were going through me just watching my team compete and knowing that I can't be out there to help them. Looking at your situation, I'm sure something similar to that. Where where were you at during the Washington game, like mentally? Like, how did it feel being out there and almost kind of feeling helpless in a sense? Sounds funny because helpless, like, you know what I'm saying? But that's really how mm -hmm. it feels. Like, it's like, dang. But, you know, I try to be the best team that I could be. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to be out there. I try to be an extra set of eyes for them, telling them which hole they missed, uh, what they could have did. You need a block better, this, that, and the third. I wasn't trying to be like I'm a coach or anything because I'm not perfect as a player. But, you know, hearing it from me maybe might help them or encourage them. So just being out there watching the game, knowing that I couldn't help my team probably hurt the most. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that I could have helped them a whole bunch, but, you know what I'm saying, just because I know what I'm capable of. So just – just just watching the game was kind of hard, but it also, it helps me as a player to see it off the field, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To see it outside looking in, just to see like stuff that they don't see. Mm -hmm. One thing that's going, that's going to benefit you too from being in that position is you're not going to forget what that feels like. Mm -hmm. Like you're not going to forget what it feels like being on the sideline, knowing you can't contribute, especially knowing that your team needs you in a situation like that. So you're going to carry that into the league and for the rest of your career. And you're going to know that every pre every snap is precious. Like mm -hmm. every opportunity that you're out there is a blessing. And I'm excited to see you, you know, live through that.